Psalm 126 concentrates on the story of the Israelites coming home from exile in Babylon. It was one of those really important uh, situations in the life of the country. The country had been devastated by war with Babylon. The Babylonians had overrun the country and taken away into exile all those who were of any standing whatsoever, leaving just behind a few, a few peasants really to till the land. Um, the city itself was left in ruins. And then 70 years later, King Cyrus said, you can go home. When the Lord restored his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. And the other nations said, what amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes. The Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy! Restore our fortunes, Lord, as streams renew the desert. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. It was like a dream, he says, when we returned. It was certainly beyond what many of them believed would ever happen, even though God, through the prophet Jeremiah, had foretold that they would be there 70 years and then they would come back. It was a miracle that the ruler, the Persian ruler as he then was, of the empire suddenly decided that Jerusalem needed to be rebuilt, the temple had to be rebuilt, the Jews needed to go home and get it done. But of course, wonderful joy, but they went home to a country that was wrecked and they were just a few of them. Restore our fortunes, Lord, says the psalm as streams renew the desert. It's a good anal analogy. A desert, virtually nothing is growing there and then a stream comes down or it rains for that one time in five years and suddenly the place goes green. Zechariah was one of the prophets who ministered to those people, those few people who came home during that era. One of the message he gives from God is this, Zechariah chapter 8. This is what the Lord Almighty says, my love for Mount Zion is passionate and strong. I am consumed with passion for Jerusalem. Once again, Old men and women will walk in Jerusalem's streets with a cane and sit together in the city squares and the streets of the city will be filled with boys and girls at play. This is what the Lord Almighty says, all this may seem impossible to you now, a small and discouraged remnant of God's people. But do you think this is impossible for me, the Lord Almighty? you can be sure that I will rescue my people. That's what this psalm's about. Not just bring us home, but build us up. Lord, as we wept on the way out and we cried with laughter on the way home, but now build us up. Let's pray. Lord, I praise you that your care for us is ongoing. It's not simply one time we come back to you and that's the end of the story. Lord, work with us, build us up, strengthen us. Bring us into the people that you want us to be. 
in order to bring glory to you. Thank you, Father. Amen.